welcome to the channel. You're with Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. We're walking the dog again, there he is. And we'll talk a bit about relationships and how important they are. Um, for some of you that watched my last video down at Botany when the Westerlies were blowing across, we do have the flies uh, here. You'll see me swatting them away from my face. He's doing a poo. We need to fix that. Which I will. Um, yeah. For most of you, these days, your relationship hasn't gone the way you would have expected. Possibly some of that's your fault. On the other hand, it's got a lot to do with the other person, but we must take blame where we, where it's our fault. And I guess it gets to a point where it's not about fault so much as what it is, learning from our mistakes and trying to assure ourselves that we have learned and that we won't let it happen again. The problem with that is you can't control what other people are going to do or not do. Not all relationship loss is via what something has done. A lot of it can be what has not been done. And that's usually the harder one to deal with because that often works in silence. And it's very hard to, unless you've got a terrific um, consciousness of discernment, being able to discern without too much presumption what other people are doing and where they're at and what the motive is and why it's happening. Um, sometimes we just need, we need to communicate, we need transparency. A lot of people are scared and insecure and that locks up their abilities to communicate and that's not fair on them, I guess, personally. And it's definitely not fair on you um, as their partner. These things do happen, they happen all the time. And where there's a disruption in communication, there's usually gonna be something negative or contrary happen to the relationship. And what you'll find is, Hey, Hank, Hank, a lot of people will communicate um, to other people rather than to their partner. And this is a hard one to feel to swallow as well because it can misguide your partner. Your partner can build a narrative about the relationship that's influenced by a person um, that's not too wise, possibly not too wise, nor in the relationship. And that can bring all sorts of conflicts and questions and things without answers that we might need to resolve whatever it is that's actually being spoken of. really really value relationship but I also value the constructs that are necessary to make a relationship work and without those constructs those things that need to be nurtured and sustained and things that need to be in place to protect the relationship it's not going to last Somebody's going to break, especially in our day with all the easy way outs, the, the excuses, the drugs and the alcohol, booze has always been there. Some people just belong in that arena. They just want the weekend pump and dump or they'll visit people 
just visit, get what they want and go. That way if they're enmeshed there's no problems with the people that are sucking the life out of them illegitimately. You find these people will allow that to happen um, to the detriment of building a proper relationship and more often than not this is where it can get dangerous because they'll bring somebody into their life and it might you know of course in the love bombing stage everybody gets along and everybody's reciprocal and making an effort but when the when things start to go wrong um, things start to not add up if you're with the wrong person and you're being stolen from or they're with an ex in the background or they're married and they never told the person they're stealing money off the person and all these other things that can happen that's where if you're in a good relationship you should look after it that's where being negligent towards a partner that you are attracted to and and are happy with is psychological suicide because you can't have a relationship with someone uh, put time into it and invest yourself into it and all the rest of it and then for whatever reason personality disorder or some kind of immaturity wreck it <clears throat> without consequence there will be consequence and it's consequence that can be relative to karma it's consequence that can be and karma doesn't always go in your favor um, a lot of people end up taking more drugs they can be closet drinkers and you know alcoholics functioning alcoholics functioning dope smokers well they say they're functioning but when you get real close they're not there's an emptiness there there's a void there this comes out in the relationship and you end up sabotaged medications drugs alcohol all these things will sabotage relationship eventually it's just a matter of time before they do and whilst the person that's taking these things is suffering personally the ripple effect of those things including triangulation and all these other you know things that can happen um, these ripple effects take down the person that they're with so this means that they're actually whether they're aware of it or not trying to bring trauma to the person that they're with and that's irresponsible that's a person that really shouldn't get, they need to they shouldn't have a relationship they need to go away and get some therapy some help because the deficiencies in their life are bringing harm to somebody that just wants to bring health and happiness and power to a relationship and these absences of character and relationship construct they wear away at people and a lot of the time the people that are bringing with them these absences and in some cases um, uh, sins absences are the things that we do not do that we should and 
sins, I guess, are the things that we um, could have done, but we we didn't and do that we shouldn't. And that's how these things work. And they're all consequential. And if you're in a relationship with somebody like this, that by nature just hasn't got things right, just hasn't got things where they should be, then that's where things fall over. How you going, mate? All right? Okay. Do ya? <laughs> no. Relationships. Gosh, be careful when you're dealing with relationships and things because people get hurt. Really hurt. And that's not what relationships are about. You need to be on your game. You need to be on point. You need to confront the issues as they come along. And if the person that you're with is not willing to keep health and happiness in the relationship, for whatever reason, it seems contrary to Christian teaching, but I think Rather than live in misery, you need to walk away. Rather than go into trauma, you need to walk away because a lot of people are in relationships via what's called a trauma bond. And that's one of the most powerful, unnatural but natural bonds, drugs, the influence that it causes on people that there can be. I don't know if this has helped you at all but I hope it has. Some of you are struggling with people that could have done a whole lot better and haven't. Possibly you could have done better yourself. And all we can do is pray that you learn from your experiences, that things will get better for you, and that you will be able to get some counseling and help, revitalize your spirit, do all the right things that are necessary for you to prosper in your, your life. Sometimes we build our life around things that just aren't going to work. We've had our time with the person and it just gets to a stage where we need to heal, get better, and let everyone go. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for coming to the channel and joining me. Bye for now.